A common issue with the 2ZZGE engine that most owners will eventually run into is the oil leak near the timing chain cover. Most 2ZZ owners will say the leak is from either the timing chain tensioner O-ring or the power steering pump itself. Little do they know, the timing chain cover gasket is the main point of the issue. What tends to happen is the serpentine belt will pick up the oil from where it leaks and throw it all over the side of the 2ZZ engine, fooling people that the leak is in other places. Since we tend to look at the higher point of the oil leak, we will believe that the oil leak is in a different location. This is where the timing chain tensioner O-ring gasket comes into play. People will say to replace this O-ring since it is at the higher point of the 2ZZ engine. And after replacing it, they will still see the oil leak issue has not been resolved. I am here sharing my knowledge with you guys to avoid any confusion, since I have fixed this issue on my 2005 Corolla XRS with the 2ZZ GE engine. About ready to install all these gaskets. Um, there's four gaskets on your timing chain cover. Um, this bad boy right here, Yamaha, hey. But I cleaned it up a bit. I don't believe in painting engine parts like the valve cover the engine block i don't like doing none of that i don't so i just cleaned it up as much as i could it's it's not 100 percent good but i mean as i said i don't like painting engine cover parts and whatnot i i just don't like it it's not in me <laughs> never did it never will but this is the timing cover gasket that's the part number this is the one that i was leaking from where I was leaking a lot of oil from. This one, when I took it out of the timing chain cover, it was just leaking so much oil from it. That was my main point of oil leak. And when I, as I said, when I took it out, I just tried to flex it and it just broke into little bits and pieces. Um, this one's the outer for the water pump. It would, it's, this is the old one. Um, it doesn't look all that bad let's see if I can focus on it no doesn't want to focus oh there it goes as you can see actually it does look kind of bad I don't know what what's all this crud it looks like it's dry coolant but I don't think I was leaking coolant I never had any overheating issues but I ended up just just getting a new replacement for that one where is it at um yeah thought I already showed it it's that one right there that's that and then this is the crank seal for the pulley it didn't look all that bad these little things are here i did one from when i was punching it out but i wasn't leaking oil from the year it doesn't look like i was this one's brown and for some reason this one's black i'm not sure why hopefully it's the right one i did give hector my vin number for the vehicle the Corolla xrs so they should be the correct seals and whatnot but that one's getting replaced might as well replace it and this is for the inner for the water pump that's the part number doesn't seem like i was leaking at all from it it's still pretty flexible bend it and it doesn't crack so those are the four that you want to replace for your timing chain cover i'm gonna go ahead and install those about ready to put my timing chain cover back on i have my bolts down there and you want to put one two three these are going to be m8 heads and the rest are going to be the m6 heads and these are going to be torqued at i believe 16 foot pounds or something how that's a double check and then these are going to be um six foot pounds so let's I have my Harbor Freight Torque Wrench. I got butchered so bad from that one spark plug video I did. Two guys are like, why don't you use a torque wrench? Why don't you use a torque wrench? I've been replacing spark plugs on my cars for a while now and nothing has happened. You just gotta know how much to torque it, I guess, by experience. But for those guys that are gonna be out there being anal about it, there's your torque wrench. It is actually eight pound feet on the M6 heads. And on the M8 heads, it is actually 16 pound feet. So let's get to that. Gotta set this up. Eight foot pounds. 
go at a crisscross motion and let's get this going. So I have the Fadanza lightweight flywheel installed. You want to set the 12 point bolts to 36 foot pound, pound feet of torque. Coffee is life. So it's been about three weeks, maybe close to a month that the Corolla is running again. Um, I just wanted to give you guys an update as to the oil leak on the 2ZZ. Um, no oil leaks, not one single drop of oil leak, <laughs> which is actually really good because this car was leaking oil like crazy. It, it was actually leaking more oil than the Celica did back when it was leaking oil. Not sure why, maybe because I I drove this one a little bit harder, like hitting more lift because I hardly lift. I hardly hit lift on the Celica since it's an automatic. Um, it's still slow <laughs> reading online i did find out that on the power steering pump the two bolts that go through your one the, the through your block and onto the timing chain cover and then when you time it you need <laughs> to set those to the correct torque spec because what happens is when you install those two long power steering bolts onto the block and onto the power steering cover or the timing chain cover, if you over torque them, if you over time them, what happens is the power, the timing chain cover will sort of like expand out from one side, from the side that doesn't have the, the power steering bolts. So it kind of does like a little, op it opens up a bit not a lot but enough for it to seep out the oil this is why you need to be very very exact with your torques with your torque settings if you're not you're gonna leak oil from there it's just a very common location to leak oil it, when i was putting back the all the gaskets and whatnot i made sure i also placed the 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 stuff in the correct exact locations. You need to be sure where you're putting this stuff at. 2 zz has been great. I haven't been leaking oil on it. I did figure out where I was leaking coolant from. So I am leaking coolant from the, I'm leaking coolant from here. I guess the Toyota clamps, the ones that the clamps that Toyota use, I guess they're not strong enough or they just become weak already. And I'm leaking, you can clearly see the, the pink stuff oozing out from from here from the rubber hose and um, I didn't have any of the I didn't have any of the the screw on clamps I guess when I was looking at it at work but I'm gonna take some today I'm gonna take care of that at work and we're gonna fix that issue that small leak but it's been fine um, the eBay radiator has been fine I I hope that, I hope that this eBay radiator doesn't leak that much because I'm a little bit scared that it might blow up not blow up, blow up but like it might just give out <laughs> so I don't have any leaks this is all from the stuff falling off from the when I was filling it up so none of this is bad um, looks like I don't have any leaks here was the culprit leak right here it's really dry. I've already driven it close to 100 miles. Um, I don't see anything bad. Um, now everything looks good other than this. I did see this. As you can see, I'm leaking from the idle air control. Or whatever it's called, I'm leaking from there, so I'm gonna have to rep I'm gonna have to fix that. Maybe get some different couplers or see what I can do because it's leaking from both. Never like those type of crimpers, I guess the end connectors. So I'm gonna have to change them out with the screw-on type. But other than that, she's not leaking anymore, which is really our main goal here. Yep, going around the whole engine bay, and I don't see any major leaks. No, not like that even leak. I don't see anything at all, which is great. Awesome. Glad we did a good job. 
After running the car for almost an hour and 30 minutes last night, I see no visible oil leaks. Nor on the floor, which is actually really good. <laughs>